Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, February the 3rd. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 3, the object continued. Jesus calls those who would serve him to follow his example and choose for themselves the same path of renunciation and sacrifice. To those who hear and obey, he promises union with God. The object of the Society of St. Francis is to build a community of those who accept Christ as their Lord and Master and are dedicated to him in body and spirit. They surrender their lives to him and to the service of his people. The third order of the Society consists of those who, while following the ordinary professions of life, feel called to dedicate their lives under a definite discipline and vows. They may be male or female, married or single, ordained or lay. Merciful God, you have made your church rich through the poverty of blessed Francis. Help us, like him, not to trust in earthly things, but to seek your heavenly gifts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our refuge and strength. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously, and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people, and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace, till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him, and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the Isles shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always. May they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, 
who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever, and may all the ends of the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. O God, bring our nation and all nations to a sense of justice and equity, that poverty, oppression, and violence may vanish and all may know peace and plenty. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Pharisees came and began to argue with him, asking him for a sign from heaven to test him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly, I tell you, no sign will be given to this generation. And he left them, and getting into the boat again, he went across to the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to bring any bread and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And he cautioned them, saying, Watch out! Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. They said to one another, It is because we have no bread. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said to them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see? Do you have ears and fail to hear? And do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? They said to him, Twelve. And the seven for the four thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? And they said to him, Seven. Then he said to them, Do you not yet understand? They came to Bethsaida. Some people brought him a blind man and begged him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. And when he had put saliva on his eyes and laid his hands on him, he asked him, Can you see anything? And the man looked up and said, I can see people, but they look like trees walking. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he looked intently, and his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Then he sent him away to his home, saying, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, Hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine and the United States. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, 
hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for Queen Elizabeth, the Prime Minister, the members of Parliament, the Premier, the members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, and all in authority. The Lord help them to serve this people according to His holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people, for our elementary schools, our high schools, our community college, our university. For the teachers, instructors, professors, and staff, the Lord guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick, for those afflicted with COVID-19, for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions or isolation. The Lord deliver them and keep them in his love. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. We most especially pray today for those who are affected by systemic racism and prejudice, or poverty, or homelessness. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church. We pray for the Anglican Communion throughout the world, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, in this parish of St. Matthew. We pray for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who's, who's, and all who've borne witness to the gospel. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray for the province of the Pacific, for the Solomon Island of Makara and Republic of Van Nuto. We pray for Cleveland, Mary, Walter, John, Joan, Fleming, Danny, Rick, Mario, Caroline, Barbara, Barbara, Julia, Claude, Don, John, Steve, Joy, and Ruth. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collect Living God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace and in the renewal of our lives, make known your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.